mandatory gun buybacks. Hearing a lot more of that since the election a month ago. Several of the Democrats who ran for president in 2019, 2020, supported mandatory gun buybacks. Among them, Kamala Harris. Beto O'Rourke supported them. And Joe Biden tells us that, you know, Beto is going to have some sort of role in shaping gun policy in this country. I don't like the concept of mandatory gun buybacks, but that's not what I want to talk about in this video. The point I want to make in this video is the use of the term itself, because the words mandatory and buy don't go together. They go together no better than the words consensual and rape would go together. Let's start with the word buy. I think we all understand the concept of buying things, purchasing things. These are voluntary transactions. Somebody wants to sell something for a given price. Somebody wants to buy something for a given price. You may negotiate the price in some cases. You may not in others, depending on you know, where you're buying. But it's a voluntary thing. When I, if I walk into uh, Best Buy and I'm looking for a camera, you know, I, the camera I'm shooting this on is a Sony A6400. I used to use a, a Brio webcam. So I wanted to upgrade my webcam and get a real camera. So I walk into Best Buy determined to buy a Sony A6400. And I go up to the counter and there's an A6400. Let's just say it's $1,000. The price varies on packages and what comes with it. But let's say it's $1,000 for the sake of argument. They're offering to sell me that camera for $1,000. I whip out my credit card or 10 $100 bills. Doesn't really matter. I offer to pay them, and of course, taxes and all that stuff. We have this voluntary transaction, and that's it. I have purchased the camera. I have the camera. They have my money. If they didn't want to sell the A6400 for $1,000, they wanted $1,200 for it, and I offer them $1,000, they don't have to sell it to me. They're not compelled to sell it to me just because I want to buy it if I don't, I'm not willing to pay $1,200. That's a voluntary purchase. That's what buy means. That's the implication of buying, that it's voluntary on the part of the people buying and selling. Just as we all know what the term buy means and implies, we all know what the term mandatory means and implies. You turn 18 in this country and you're a male, you have to go down and register for selective service. That's mandatory. You start working, you pay federal taxes. Buy a home, you're going to pay county taxes. That's the way it works. Those things are mandatory. Mandatory. It's from the Latin. To be, you know, it implies compulsion. It's not something you have a choice over. If I'm home and I've got my A6400 and there's a knock on the door and I open it and there's a guy there and he wants to buy my A6400 or you know, less than I bought it for, or even the same price. They offers me $1,000 and say I paid $1,000 for it, which I didn't, but just for nice round numbers. Do I have to sell it to him? He wants to buy it? I have to give it to him? No, of course not. I mean, I might. Maybe offer me $1,200. And I take the $1,200, dummy. From this guy and go out and buy a new one for a thousand and he's got my used one for 1200 if i want to do that i can do it but i don't have to do that you know maybe he's snarky maybe he's nasty looking or maybe he i don't trust him he wants to give me a check and i don't want to accept the check because it might i'm afraid it might bounce and he'll have my camera and i'll never get my money again these are voluntary transactions they're not you're not compelled to follow through on them but say there's a knock on the door and it opened up and the guy's there. It turns out he's an official from the county and he's got a sheriff with him, an armed sheriff. And he says, 
we want your gun. We'll give you a thousand. Uh, we want your camera. We'll give you a thousand dollars for your camera. I don't want to sell my camera. And he said, well, I've got an order here from the county board of supervisors that you have to sell us your camera. And he said, but I don't want to sell it. Well, if you don't sell it to us, this is a policeman, the sheriff's right here, and he's armed, and he's going to compel you to sell that camera to us. This is a mandatory camera buyback. You know, this is absurd. It, it, that's not sales. That's not buying. It's mandatory. When, as soon as mandatory get in, gets involved, it's no longer a purchase. It's confiscation. They are confiscating my gun with compensation. Confiscation with compensation is still theft, especially when it's done by the state. Now, why do I say it would be theft? If the county where I live decides mandatory buyback of a gun, and I have a gun, and they're going to force me to give it to them, and they're going to reimburse me for what I paid for it. Why is that theft? Because it's not a buyback, because I don't want to sell it. Buying implies it being voluntary. If you're compelling something to somebody to make a transaction, it's not a purchase. It's confiscation. And what's doubly annoying is how are they going to compensate me? Is the sheriff going to pay me out of his pocket? No. Is the county representative going to pay me out of his pocket? No. Is the county commissioner who voted for this going to pay me out of her pocket? No. Where are they getting the money to pay me? My pocket. Basically, they'll fund the mandatory buyback of my weapon from my tax dollars. So first, they'll confiscate my money, which is what taxes are. Now, you can argue justifiable compensation. We need to pay taxes because we need an infrastructure and all that stuff. And I'm not arguing I shouldn't be paying taxes. That's not my point here. But they're going to confiscate some of my wealth take it for, to themselves back to the county. And then they're going to confiscate my gun. And in return, they'll pay for the gun with the money they already took from me. That's a mandatory buyback. And that's the problem. The term is a lie. The term is one of these prog speak euphemisms for basically confiscation. Theft, because they're not really going to compensate you because the compensation comes out of your own pocket. These two terms fit together horribly. Basically, they don't fit together at all. You don't use the term mandatory and buy together. They're contradictions. You can't have one with the other. That's why the other example I used would be consensual rape. If two people have sex and it's consensual, it's not rape. If it's rape, it wasn't consensual. These two terms do not go together. Consensual and rape do not go together. Mandatory and buyback do not go together. It's that simple. It's prog speak. That's my thought about the term mandatory buyback. What are your thoughts? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button so you know when I post new videos. And until the next time, keep fighting.